Good morning, YouTube. Well, I want you to look at this. I mean, here we go again. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on, folks. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of gaming, a lot of playing, a lot of plotting, a lot of bullshit. Constant bullshit. Matter of fact, just I'm gonna be matter of fact with you today, and this is to all it may concern. That's right, to all. Listen up, folks. You're conning and you're bullshitting and you're dollar making. Look at here. You see what this bill says? This is an executive order. It's gonna be. You can bet on it. The last three have been. This one's going to be one, too. All right? Now, it's worse even so this year than last and the year before that. Not only do they can put you in jail without a trial or a jury, call you a terrorist, they've added more to it. Now, we're going to stop right here for a minute and let me calm down, and we're going to listen to the robot and go from there, okay? The 2014 version of the National Defense Authorization Act is said to be going through Congress with lightning speed. With all the controversy surrounding the dangerous provisions approved under the last two versions, it is no wonder that Congress is attempting to fast-track this latest bill before the American people catch wind of it. Are you paying attention to what they just said? <clears throat> before the people catch wind of it. All the YouTubers on the Internet are fighting and arguing and bitching because of a dollar over and over and over again never stops putting out fear and distracting people from the truth over and over and over and over every day every day every day every day the same thing over and over and over never handling anything that has anything to do with the truth do you get my drift here do you I'm talking to all of you including me. For those that recall, it was the NDAA bill for 2012 that first codified into law the dangerous provisions for indefinite detention without trial or even a lawyer for any person even suspected of being some type of threat to the United States government. It also stipulated that members of our military could be used against its citizens in facilitating such arrests and that the accused could be held in military or foreign prisons off of our shores. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? The ones of you that have children, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, you've heard it time and time again, right? Oh yeah, it's all good and fine. They say something to me, I'm going to say something to them. They say something to me, I'm going to say something to them. Really? Are you? You're not going to be able to because you're going to be your ass in fucking prisons. All over this country. All of you. Not just me. All of you. What is wrong with us? Can't we fight for the truth for once? Everybody combined? Everybody combined about this guy right here that you see right here with this big beard. And he don't even know about the Act 1871. And he got a, a hundred and a... 1,500,000 likes in over 48 hours. Really? And we can't push the truth together once? It also went a step further and granted tremendously dangerous authority to a president of the United States to legally assassinate such individuals merely accused of supposedly being a threat to the United States. A recent article published by The New American has sounded the alarm that the 2014 version of the NDAA is currently being pushed through Congress in time for a final vote before the end of the year with barely any time left for the American people to voice objections. Section 1071 of this bill is an even further expansion of dangerous provisions. It is like a dreadful merging of NSA-acquired spying documentation fused together with the indefinite detention provisions of the Department of Defense. It authorizes a better sharing of all the illegally obtained and cataloged NSA data into a new center called the Conflict Records Research Center. 
This data referred to as captured records can be anything from phone records, emails, browsing history or even posts on social media sites. This time around, one thing is for certain, no member of Congress should be allowed to get away with claiming ignorance of the dangerous provisions included in this bill. The American people are much more aware of the NDAA's provisions than they were originally, approximately two years ago. Members of Congress voting in favor of this bill under any circumstances without the elimination of Section 1071 and all other sections that virtually shred our Bill of Rights should serve as a litmus test for the 2014 elections. No exceptions, no more excuses. The House has passed the National Defense Authorization Act, the major funding measure for the United States military for fiscal year 2014. The vote was 350-69. It now goes to the Senate, although the upper chamber is currently tangled in debate over executive nominations. The act is the product of two bills, one from the House and one from the Senate, which were merged in a bipartisan deal after the Senate's version stalled due to disagreement about the amendment process. The leaders of the House and Senate Armed Services Committee announced a deal on the merged legislation on Monday. One high-profile amendment to the bill won't be included. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, D-NY, had hoped to force a vote on a proposal to remove sexual assault cases from the military chain of command. The plan had won support from some unlikely allies including from some of the Senate's most conservative members but it was strongly opposed by many top Pentagon officials. While Gillibrand's legislation won't be included, the deal does address the issue of sexual assault by prohibiting commanders from overturning verdicts in sexual assault cases and by instituting other oversight measures. Okay, you two, <clears throat> you heard all of that information, okay? Now, I got another little clip here I want you to hear that happened on a radio show last night. And then when this gets through, we're going to talk about that as well. And we're going to talk about it in depth this time. And I hope everyone understands what I'm trying to do here because it is not time for this anymore on anybody's part so listen to this okay i hate to be the writer but we got two more callers can we take the next caller please hello you're on what's your name who is this uh hi can you hear me yes who is this you're fine uh hi this is adrian zumiko oh hey hi. adrian e3 Right. Good, good to hear from you. Guys. Hey, how you doing? What's happening? I don't know. I just uh, felt like maybe we should talk. Uh, talk on the radio? Uh, what did you want to talk about? Did you want to talk about climate-related issues question? or something else? We have about three minutes, guys. I just I hate to stay on task. I, I know. I uh, called in about 20 minutes ago, unfortunately. Uh, I was on hold for some time. I'm sorry. Um, well, the floor no, is yours. I, uh, Go. Honestly, I feel that our entire situation uh, is a complete misunderstanding. Uh, and it is a shame uh, what has happened to the truth or community. And, it is a shame. I mean, Go ahead and continue. Yes. And quite, quite frankly, I have dedicated much of my time in my life uh, to revealing truth, and it's very unfortunate when I get attacked. Uh, uh, you know what I mean for for building a website for a friend or whatnot. Um, I don't know. So I just kind of felt like calling in and and just seeing kind of your guys' thoughts on this. <clears throat> I, I could speak to that. This is, um, you know, um, I, I was serious. When, uh, I made an olive branch post, okay? And it, it, I was, uh, you know, and I'm not doing it for ratings or anything. I really am serious. Um, that still stands. I don't, I don't speak with any, as my witness, none of these guys, I don't speak with anybody else regarding any of this. I'm not responsible for any of the problems that you guys had, personally, that I, I was blamed for. I promise you, again. 
So you're right. It's a big misunderstanding. And I would encourage peace. Right now, I wish you guys a happy, healthy, prosperous new year, and I hope your company does well. Um, I'm glad that it doesn't have anything to do with what happened for the last two years to me. And you know what goes back two years on that donations crap about me receiving donations, suspicious observers giving me a hard time about receiving donations for two years, bro. And then you turned around and started a company to receive it. That's where the whole thing went, blew out of control. And I really am well, serious I'm... about Pe- uh, Peace Branch. So take it up, bro. I mean, with these other guys, I have no going on with that. You're going to have to talk to them. But that settles I, I it from my end, personally. That you, you guys drop a lot of YouTube names and, and blogs and channel names. But this is not like YouTube. That. I have no talk about <laughs> Um, my only real connection, uh, to this <laughs> whole community is through Ben, uh, and yes, I built his website, uh, and he's one of my best friends. I grew up with him and, and I'm loyal to him to the utmost. Um, but does he have any kind of agenda or is trying to attack anybody? Absolutely not. Uh, and neither am I. And, um... You know, these videos that come out claiming that I know all these people uh, Triforce something and Dabu something and whatnot, uh, I really don't even know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, I, I know that, that some, quote, evidence was laid out about how I was subscribed to them. Uh, but hey, honestly, hey, listen, I'm let me tell you something to- right now, Adrian, all right? Let me just butt in. This is not YouTube. This is FPRN Radio. We don't want to talk about, you know, those issues. Keep it on YouTube. Keep it in the courts. You know, uh, just get out of here, all right? Cut this guy off. Let's go to the last caller. What's on your mind? Okay, everybody. Y'all heard that, okay? Now, the mention of Dabu7, Triforce, and several other YouTubers out here, Okay. <laughs> I'm not an E3 media and uh, SO. Now listen up. SO may be your friend, and that's good. Everybody's supposed to have friends. But he also has another friend, and that's patriotic space. Now whether or not you know about this guy or not, which I know you do, that's just my opinion. It's like this. This all started several years ago. And this guy took his own channel down himself. Couldn't face his own embarrassment. And if you go back on SO's page far enough, you can see where SO was backing Dutch Sense and Patriotic Space. And when Patriotic Space and Dutch Sense had a falling out, okay, when they had their falling out. This is what happened. SO, from that point on, started needling Dutch Sense. And Dutch Sense has a lot of friends out here, and they're not bought, and they're not paid for by a media company. Straight up. Now, I'm not bashing you, I'm not cussing you, and I'm not doing anything bad to you at all. I'm tired of being threatened that you're going to sue me. You're going to sue somebody for something they haven't done. Spend the money if you're going to sue somebody. But remember one thing. All this other stuff that's going on with our country right now has nothing to do with a solar effect, the sun, a comet, or anything to that effect. And if you, yourself, are going to get in here and try to tell me that you're fighting for the truth, I'm going to call you a ball-faced liar. Straight to your face. And I am calling it to your face right now. That's what this is doing. Because I'm going to send this personally to you. Okay. Now, I love my country, 
and abolishing the Act 1871 is the most important thing. SO and you have both stated that y'all are attorneys. Really? If you're attorneys, then why aren't you fighting for the truth? And better yet, why wouldn't you even mention it? Why wouldn't you even push the information? You got this big powerful website and big powerful media company, but you don't push the truth. Why is that? Hmm. That's kind of curious on my part. I would really like to know the answer to that question. I really would. And don't think on my part that I'm worried about you taking it from me for using my taglines or anything like that. I have always stated, please use the information. Go to my blog and get the information. Do your own research and follow the links that take you to other places. But yo, no, no, no. You can't do that. We just got to hate and discontent and start a lie about heart that never happened. And then say Harp is closed because the website went down. The only thing that closed was the website. And the only reason why the website closed is because they were tired of y'all using it every day in your broadcast to let everyone know that Harp was such a beautiful, wonderful thing. And it's a dinosaur. Really? Is it a dinosaur? No. It's not a dinosaur. The antenna can last for a long time. All they have to do is repair it. The antenna system is the state of the art idea. And not only that, the only thing if the equipment, the technology improves, they just change the equipment inside the building. The frequencies that they use and how they use them. Don't ever tell me that I don't know nothing about technology because you're wrong. And SO is wrong. I am sick and tired of the lies, the cheating, the hyping up a product like ISON. Until the fear mongerings like BP Earthwatch and Dabu 7 jump on the bandwagon to make a dollar. Now Dabu did come out with a video just recently and stated that I saw him wasn't going to hurt us. But BP Earthwatch is still at this time doing the same thing, still pushing the fear. Why do we have to push? Fear to get a rating and make a dollar. I'm sorry, but the fear kills people. People die, want to commit suicide, and it's right here at Christmas time. When killing yourself, people threatening to kill themselves is the highest at that time of year to start with because they don't have nothing or they're broke and there's a lot of people in this country that are broke but yet we're gonna get in here and argue and bick and get on a radio show nationwide radio show we're actually worldwide and discuss your YouTube habits really Really? And I've been called multiple times by a whole bunch of people. A whole bunch. Not just one. Not just one. But a whole bunch of people that wants this to stop. I want it to stop. I ain't done anything wrong. I haven't. But tell people the truth about the con job that everybody's getting. From everybody else. One, 
They'll go out and make up a YouTube channel and think it's this person, and then they'll go out and sling it, and then this person has to catch up that it ain't this person, it's really this person over here because they got the same name. And take people's channels down. Really? Why? Because you're all big, bad, like Alan Ladd. You got a temper like a mule. You're stubborn as hell, and if he don't want to move, he ain't going to move. But it's hard, real hard, to get kicked in that ass and stand there and not move. And the mules will do it every time. A lot of people out there know what that means. A lot of people out there know what that means. I love my country. I love my freedom. What little bit I have left. Evidently, y'all love the corporation. Majorly. And I can't help you there. But that ain't no right for you to get in here and create and start some sort of fear. Whether you meant it to become fear or not, you antagonized it and promoted it. And you're still doing so by thinking or showing that you're messing with BP Earthwatch. And you're not. You're just promoting him. You make it look as if you're going after BP, this advertisement, so y'all can create more activity on his page. And how I know that is because all the same people that are commenting on his page comments on yours and SO's page at the same time. Yes, that's true. You know it's true. You know I know what y'all are doing. It's all promotion. The same reason why you started the stuff with heart. It's because you're paying for your subscribers and your views. And the only way to get your ratings up is to create chaos. Like Mark Dice did to Alex Jones. You learn exactly. We all learn. But we all also learn how it really happens. And you know, I'm really sick of it. I really am. Because the truth will never get out if we push false propaganda. And anything that we get from the Weather Bureau, NASA, or anywhere else about space is always going to be propaganda. And there's always going to be fear mongers that want to push that stuff. But ain't it strange that all of you people that are out there helping that situation are enjoying watching people kill themselves because you think they're stupid? Is that because of any racial type motivation behind this? Uh, Nazism? Racism? Whatever you want to call it. Hitlerism? Obamaism? Peanutism, I, I, I don't know. I'm just asking the question. My point of it is, is this. Do you love your country? Do you love your children or if you have any? Or want to have any? Do you love your children? Do you love your family? Your father, your mother, your grandfather, your aunts, your uncles, your nephews, you, all that. Do you love them? Really? Do you? So, do you? You've made statements to that. Even though it had lies in it, it doesn't matter. We're not talking about the lies no more. That's all over with. The lies are done. But is this what y'all want? Do you want to continue to play this game? Do you want to continue to push fear? Do you want to continue to promote fear? Do you want to continue not telling the truth? Do you want to continue running away from the truth and 
pushing the truth? Do you want to run from it? Do you want to stand up for it? Do you want to be an American? Or do you want to be a slave? Which is it that you really want? All of you. Do you want to be free? Or do you want to be a slave? Straight up. Stand up. Be free. Don't be a pit squeak. Stand up for your rights to be an American. What your forefathers gave you to be free. The original constitution. No more bullshit. Ever. It's time to get to work. Before we lose our livelihoods on which we stand on our own property. Much love to y'all. And y'all all have a great day. But damn, people. Damn. Eyes open, no fear, my ass. This right here is fear. Have a great day.